Hopefully you have your notes in front of you. Today we're talking about scientific notation with the four operations. And so the first thing we need to do is talk about operations with scientific notation. And you have this sheet first. And it says when reading word problems, the most important thing to do, well, is to read. So we need to identify the key terms and phrases. Please write that down if you need to pause the video. You can. Common key terms. Hmm, addition. Can you think of some other words that mean addition? I'll tell you some is very popular. Some means to add. Another word is all together. And then total. You've heard all of those for addition. For subtraction, you might get difference. We say that all the time when we're talking about integers. Or minus. Multiplication is product. And I know I'm going very fast. If you need to pause or rewind, you take as much time as you need to. I'm just going through it quickly because I don't have to write it. Division can be quotient. That's a big one. Divided by or shared or half. Half you can divide by two or multiply by one half. It's the same thing. Let's try some addition problems. We're going to locate the key terms for addition when we get this problem. Now remember all of these words. And also, as you get into word problems on your own, use these notes so you don't forget what the words mean. Here's our problem. A factory builds a new warehouse that is approximately 1.28 times 10 to the fifth square feet. Later, they add on 1 and, one th one and 13 hundredths times 10 to the third more square feet for offices. Use scientific notation to write the total size of the building. The first thing I want you to always do is highlight the keywords. Add and total are the key words in this one. And we know both of those things mean to, ad to add. So I'm going to go to the next slide, and I want you to do some work. You have room on your papers. You can do this anywhere. So try this on your calculator. Notice I wrote it out for you using addition, but I also included parentheses around everything that we have to add. So I want you to put this into your calculator exactly the way it is. And now I need you to pause the video so I can show you the answer. And that is your answer, 1.2913 times 10 to the fifth. We're going to go on. Here's another problem with addition. Remember our words, sum, all together, total, combined, in all, and add. Here's our word problem. A computer's hard disk drive holds 8 times 10 to the seventh bytes of information. If Jill buys an extra memory stick that holds 3 times 10 to the 6 bytes of information, how much memory will the computer hold all together? All together means add. Now I want you to pause the video, try this on your calculator without me telling you how to enter it to test yourself on the calculator and see what you got. Okay, hopefully you've paused the video. Here's the answer. Oh, we forgot to highlight. That's what I forgot to do. All together should be highlighted. Do that on your paper before we forget. And your answer should have been 8.3 times 10 to the seventh. Because we added. Here we are. We're working on some subtraction. Here are our keywords. Difference, how many, much more, less, minus, remains, and subtract. You have these on your paper already. Here's our word problem. Mars is 6.28 times 10 to the 8 miles away from the sun. Jupiter is 3.77 times 10 to the fifth miles away from the sun. How many more miles is Mars away from the sun than Jupiter? By the way, Mars should be capitalized, just so you know. And let's highlight some keywords. How many more? That means subtract. And that should be your answer. Hopefully you paused the video, paused the video and tried. Key terms for subtraction. The weight of a bouquet of flowers can be expressed as 3.4 times 10 to the fourth milligrams. If a daisy in the bouquet weighs 7.9 times 10 to the second milligrams, what's the difference between the weight of the bouquet and the weight of the daisy? Well, let's highlight some key words. Difference, ah, easy, subtract. Go ahead and subtract on your calculator. Pause the video before I show you my answer. The answer is 3.321 times 10 to the fourth. Now we get into some multiplication. Here's some key words. Product is big. Multiply, number of times. Doubled means times two. Triple means times three. And per or each. Here's our word problem. 
the weight of one of the twin towers was approximately 8.2 times 10 to the 12th. Um, I think I put in was because obviously we know the twin towers are no longer there, but I wanted you to get the idea of the size. The weight of the Empire State Building is 2.7 times 10 to the fifth times heavier. What is the weight of the Empire State Building? Well, let's see. The bigger building is which one? Is it the Twin Towers or is it the Empire State Building? The weight of the Empire State Building is 2.7 times 10 to the fifth times heavier. So we want to figure out how many times, um, what is the weight of the Empire State Building? We want to know how many times bigger it is. So we highlight that. And we're multiplying 8.2 times 10 to the 12th times 2.7 times 10 to the 5th equals 2.214 times 10 to the 18th. If you remember, that exponent is big, so it must weigh quite a bit. The next question says the length of the Bolden boat is 5.2 times 10 to the second inches long. The length of Riggin is double the length of Bolden. How long is the Riggin boat? Do you see any key words here? Highlight it. Double is the key word. Double means to multiply by 2. So let's do that. 2 times 5.2 times 10 to the second equals 1.04 times 10 to the third. Please check it on your calculator to make sure I did it right. And on to division. Here are the key terms for division. Quotient divided by, shared, half, half means divide by 2, times as many, much, and per and each. Here we go again with the Empire State Building. The weight of the Empire State Building is approximately 2.214 times 10 to the 18th pounds. The weight of one of the Twin Towers is 8.2 times 10 to the 12th pounds. How many times as many pounds is the Empire State Building than one of the Twin Towers? So we're dividing. The larger number, of course, is the 2.214, so keep that in mind, and let's highlight times as many pounds. I'm going to go on to another screen to show the work. You can do it anywhere on your paper. How many times as many pounds is the Empire State Building than one of the Twin Towers? We're going to start with the Empire State Building and divide it by one of the Twin Towers. So put this into your calculator as it is. Press pause while you're doing it, and then when you're ready and you have an answer, compare it with mine. Okay, hopefully you've pressed pause. This is the answer I have. Locating key terms for division, we're still going to try one more division problem. We have quotient divided by shared, half, you have the idea. The weight of the Empire State Building is approximately 2.214 times 10 to the 18th pounds. The weight of one of the Twin Towers is half that amount. How heavy are the Twin Towers? Remember, to take half of something means we can divide by two. So let's highlight half means divide. And here is our answer. Hopefully you would have paused it first. Now there are some, trying, there are some problems for you to try in the quiz online, so give that a shot.